Wake up, count it up, get my money up, keep that semi tough, cause I know I'm up. Wake up, count it up, get my money up, keep that semi tough, cause I know I'm up. Hi, my name is Rob Racing. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I will actually be showing you guys how to properly lower your cars because I've actually been seeing that a lot of people that I do know actually don't really know how to lower their cars correctly. And in this video, I will be showing you guys just how to do that correctly. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your car doesn't have bulletproof tires. And what I do mainly is shoot around this part of the rear tire as you can see right there is where you should be shooting for the front top and for the front two and for the back two I'll show you where to shoot at for that part basically you want to make sure that the car lowers itself twice and there's another way of doing it where you shoot the center of the rim but this way is a lot easier and it's a lot better and works for actually almost all vehicles because this is actually the only for some vehicles this is actually the only way to lower it but it just really depends on the car I like doing it this way because it mainly makes it to where your car doesn't explode and it also it works 100% of the time but you just shoot right in this rear part of the rear of the uh, the wheel arch and depending on where you shoot it I could it could either make a bullet hole or it could just not show up at all and as you can see it made a tiny little bullet hole but it's not really that noticeable but if you looked at it for a quick second you saw the car was leaning off to the side a little bit You'll know that the car is stanced properly when the car is really low. As you can see, the car already looks visibly lower than every other part of the car. Even just in, than it was a second ago. And that's really it. There's, I mean, there's not really much to this glitch, really. I mean, this glitch, honestly, is one of the most popular glitches that in the game. It was actually removed a very long time ago and brought back because people were actually mad that they removed this feature out of the game because people actually use this for drifting and it also helps with drag racing a little bit because I know with some cars if you stance the front two like lower the front two tires and then just keep the rear up raised it actually does somewhat help with the wheeling and for like the cars that have really they have a lot of horsepower like they have like a lot of like power and it actually kind of cancels out the um, what's it called? The uh, the drag, like you know, like the bumper gra dragging, and also doesn't make it just go straight back down. Now I'm not saying that works for all cars; it just depends on which car it is. But in my opinion, this is honestly one of the most popular glitches that it, that everybody, in my opinion, should at least know, or at least have an idea of how to do. But in my opinion, the shooting the rear tire way is a lot easier to do than shooting these little lower part of the rim because shooting the lower part of the rim does give it a higher chance of blowing up and it actually depends on the car because some cars actually can't even do the center rim way but I'm going to show you the glitch on another car just so that you guys can give like another comparison I'm going to do it on this impaler as you guys saw at the beginning of the video now in my opinion this car sits up really high stock or just in general this car sits up really high off the ground but in my opinion this car actually is one of the best lowered looking cars especially if you have the right rims on it this car looks amazing but you know this isn't really a car that should be lowered too much at all really but it's just it just looks nice in my opinion but what I like to use is the uh the sniper and make sure that you don't have any bulletproof rounds I like to use the snipers mainly not the heavy one but like the uh the burst round sniper I like the semi-automatic sniper because it helps with the um with just the control of it and also if you use an automatic gun sometimes the car does have a higher chance of exploding and I did find that out so I usually use the machine gun and it's also I mean not a machine gun, I use <laughs> I use the semi-auto sniper and it's also more controllable and it's a lot easier to not you know accidentally blow out the tires and also make sure that your car does not have bulletproof armor or bulletproof tires because that will actually mess up the glitch now I'll show y'all in a second me just lowering the car because there's really nothing to this isn't is a really like a really nice little glitch honestly and in my opinion it gives cars this look a lot better now just so that you know a lot of the newer vehicles do not work with this glitch 
But as you can see, I was aiming at that one little spot. Aim for that little spot that I just showed at the bottom. And the other spot is where I shot at earlier for the elegy. But I usually like to shoot, especially on the cars with the wider arches like this one in the front, I like to shoot at the rear part of this one a lot more because as you can see, the car as you can see right now is sitting up it's sitting up a little high. I mean this is the suspension that is lower setting as well. So you know it's it sits up a little higher off the ground. You know, it's a nice little car though. I put my crew color on it. It's an old one, but you know, it's a really nice car. But as you can see in the second when I lower the car, it's actually gonna be really low sitting. And that's really it. I'm just gonna be showing y'all me lowering the car. I shoot around right here for this car but always make sure that you shoot the rear part of this arch don't ever shoot at the front part because if you shoot at the front part it's not gonna lower it but that's really it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it's really next this whole next part is just gonna be me talking about some stuff I have coming up so about me going live again yes I will be going live but I'm not gonna be going live on YouTube today I'll actually be going live on Twitch and I'm not gonna be playing GTA 5 I'll actually be playing 2k and the only reason why I'm not doing it live on YouTube for 2k is mainly because I just want to mess around for a little bit and also because I know a lot of people who don't usually watch my streams don't really mess with the whole 2k thing you know and I you know I just want to give it a little bit of a shot with the 2k thing on Twitch because I've actually never even I've gone live on Twitch like maybe like once or twice and I don't want to like I don't want to like throw a live stream on you guys that you guys aren't going to enjoy. So I will be going live again on YouTube probably around Wednesday or Thursday. Probably to probably not tomorrow, so it's probably going to be Wednesday as usual and we'll be doing a car meet. And if you guys want to, you know, suggest any ideas for that car meet, just, you know, comment something down below because y'all, you know, I need I need ideas for the car meets, bro, cuz you know, there's no point in me having a car meet if I don't know what you guys want to do. <laughs> But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Follow my Instagram at Ryan underscore Racer for more. I really hope you guys do that because it's actually a lot easier to hit me up that way. And also ask me questions about a lot of things that you guys don't understand about the video. But that's all I got to say for today. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And stay safe out there and have a good rest of your week. And I hope the glitch works for you. I'll catch y'all soon.